First of all, I'd like to dispel a nasty rumour. People have been saying that Susie and I come down to this boat just to eat sushi instead of cleaning. That's not true. Today, we're having chicken piri piri. everybody, as you can see Andresa is back out of the water, we're in the shipyard, a quick look round, put the boats in, it's lunch time at the moment, all the guys are not working so we've got a bit of quiet time, so she came out this morning, uh, she had her engine serviced earlier last, or late last week, so we had the engine serviced, we had all the internal anodes changed and now she's out of the water to have her hull cleaned, have anti-fouled and of course then have her hull polished and the superstructure polished ready for the season. There's a few of the jobs that we, we talked about that are going to get done. Uh, one of them is there's a couple of spider cracks around in the gel coat around some of the stern cleats. They're going to be done. We're going to take that back to the glass fibre and re-gel coat those. Uh, make sure there's nothing structural, it's just the, the gel coat's cracked a little bit. So that's going to get done. Uh, we are going to probably swap out or service the uh, water pump for the air conditioning because it's struggling a little bit, it's running hot so we're going to check that out while we're done. If you need a new one it's not a big job, we'll just swap it out, it's not a, an expensive job. We're also going to uh, replace the teak in the companion way because that's uh, a job now, it's been sanded back a couple of times, it's starting to wear, it's, it's gone too far and now needs replacing. That is a monumentally expensive job, you would be surprised, if you ever wonder why uh, super yachts are so expensive, I'll give you two words for that teak decking uh, for literally a, a few square meters of teak that we're talking about there you could probably buy an acre of Burmese uh, rainforest and make your own teak unbelievable the price of that stuff but that's going to get done that's going to be swapped out starting next week but first job we'll be doing is the guys are going to cut this back uh, anti-foul the, the the hull and then polish up the hull ready for the season I would like to uh, cover most of that for you but unfortunately I'm finally going back to the UK uh, in on Friday for uh, a couple of weeks uh, while well, I sort a few bits and pieces out. I've not been able to go back now for the past four months, so <laughs> big deal. Though. Sounds like a chore, not really. Uh, but I've got to go and do a couple of things, so I won't be here while she's being done. But I will hopefully be back just before she goes back into the water, and I'll film that for you. And then from then, we should be out and about on the waterways again, and I'll be blogging another season for you. Or vlogging another season for you. I'll try to keep you updated, I'll show you the, the stuff that we're going to do, I'll also show you a, good, a couple of other bits and pieces that we normally do. I know last year I covered the uh, servicing of the lifeboats etc, but the life jackets want doing again this year, they need recertifying, so I'll show you how that's done. We'll get them out and I'll try and accompany them down to the, the centre where they, they check them and do them and show you how they, how they certify those things. Um, and hopefully we'll get some uh, videos out fairly soon and we'll be back on the water really looking forward to it the weather is beautiful at the moment it's absolutely stunning here for once it's very very quiet in the shipyard but that's great you actually hear yourself think that people banging and thumping etc so hopefully we'll be seeing more videos from me real soon guys see you soon